What is going on people? Ground Squatch here. Uh, doing my first oil change on the KLX 300 Dual Sport. I've got roughly around 300 miles. I know it says to do it at 600 miles, but I like to do my oil changes early. I'm a big rider and a heavy rider, so uh, I like to do mine a little bit early. I will do this one and then I will do another one around 800 or 1,000 miles and then uh, do them every 1,500 to 2,000 miles after that. Um, just for how I want to do it. It tells you you don't have to do it till like 7,500 miles after the first one or some shit like that. But uh, I don't trust that. And uh, so I'm going to get to it. I've got the Kawasaki filter 52010-1053. And then uh, this oil meets the requirements. The Mobile One Racing 4T 1040. It's what I use in most of my bikes. I got a bunch of it on sale a long time ago. And it seems to work really great in my Grom and in the MT-07. So... Uh, I'm gonna put it in here and see how it works in this. Um, yeah, it should be better than the factor oil they give you inside of here. So, anyway, it's gonna pop this open, loosen that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna also use the uh, toolkit that comes with the bike. Because if you can't do stuff with the toolkit, why have the toolkit? So, I will be using the toolkit. Oh, come on. it out here all right so oh, cheap little toolkit here you got your uh I believe that's yeah 10 a 12 a 14 and a 17 then you got this little eight millimeter and till uh, eight millimeter and 10 millimeter uh hex or whatever kind of like you know for all the all the little pieces um but yeah, and then you got the screwdriver flathead that you use as like the handle to get it to turn and whatnot. But that will be on the other side. You also got the screwdriver handle. I'll keep it in my kit, but I've got a kit that I will be making for this. I've got, you know, all this stuff, but in like small ratchet size and whatnot. So I may as well put this over on that side. The bike is warmed up. I just took it for a quick little five minute ride around the neighborhood. I like to ride the bike instead of just letting it sit there and idle. I like to ride it and get it through all the gears, get all the metal and stuff moving around and whatnot. So anyways, underneath this side right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, there is a 14 millimeter, uh, yeah, on the left hand side of the bike, it's 14 millimeter just under this, uh, right by the, uh, left foot peg underneath the shifter and right by the, uh, stock skid plate. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this little guy right here. Oh, but that's a 14 mil. All right. That, that's going to be all right. <laughs> uh oh, let's see how to do this cuz this does not fit up in here. I was going to try to do this with the stock stuff. All right, just got to do it at like kind of an angle. Well, my GoPro quit working as soon as that broke loose. <laughs> um, yeah, it's loose now. Go up under here and... Hope you guys can see that. Oh, come on, crash washer. Don't stay. There we go. Now I keep an upward pressure until I feel it all the way loose. That way I don't drop it into the oil pan there we go put it on the other side there now I want to clean it first so set it there a cute little crush washer still looks good well it doesn't look too bad either on the other side now all right so you got your oil filter right here Those are the eights right here. Yeah. All right, yeah. So you take your screwdriver and insert it. It doesn't let you go all the way through, but it lets you get enough little torque on it to break those loose. And these are not very tight at all. Uh oh, we'll put some rags down real quick. Hopefully I can feel some of this help. Oh. Alright. Now. 
taking these off. As I figured. Oh. And that's why I put the tarp down. <laughs> uh, I should put down some other stuff right here instead, but wipe that up all I can. Put that down underneath right there. That's where the mess is gonna be. Alright, so this comes out. And Ooh, that full filter's hot. Alright, so, when you put this back in, make sure, you know, you put it correctly. There is holes lining up. Um, they do line up, so I don't think you can fuck it up, so... Just be careful whenever you go put that back together. But yeah, the oil filter... I see a little bit of stuff in it. I might cut it up later and see how it looks, but... Yeah, not too bad. Get this gunk out. Oh. Pesky spring, everybody talks about. <laughs> oh, put that there. I'm just getting this gross, nasty stuff out of him. filter. I think it's pretty close to the same size as my Grom one. I think it might be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. Same size. Same everything. Yep. Oh. I'll take just a tiny spoo to that. Put on here. You know. Alright, I got this nice and cleaned up. Set this over on here. Got the spring to stay up in there, kind of, actually. We'll see, though. Yeah, nope. Alright, well, I'll be back. I'm gonna mess with this pesky spring real quick. I'm gonna go find some grease. Alright, so I got a little dab of red grease on here and stuck it to the filter itself. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Pretty sure it did, yes it did. How do I know? Because it's got spring pressure pushing back, so... Okay. Yep, that is seated, so I'm gonna push this down real quick. Tighten it down a little bit at a time. Finger tight. 
And then when I get the finger tied, I just barely squeak. Squeak. You can always go back and tighten those later. Um, better to be a little loose than to uh, too tight and strip it out. Okay. I'm going to kind of tilt the bike, see if any more oil comes out or not. Oh, a little bit there. Tilt. Boom. All right. Well, this part's done. Got the oil filter on. Now to put the oil drain back in the, yeah. So I have tipped the bike numerous times to get as much oil out as I can. It is just a very, very slow drip now. So I will get this plug back in real quick, hopefully. Simple as that. Again, not very high uh, torque value on this. It's like 10 or 11 pounds. So get it finger tight and then get your 14 and find the best angle. Damn it, dude. Okay, because I'm doing the stock tools. And let's get a little bit of snug and there you go. There's the oil drain plug back. Or the oil cap, I mean. Get that cleaned out of there. Alrighty. So, because I did the filter, it takes 1.2 quarts. I got my full one here. <laughs> Kawasaki chug. All right. And now for the point two, since I've already got this thing used, let's see. So I want to go down to here, I believe. I'm going to go between the 400 and the 12 right there. A little bit more. Pull it, inspect the oil level like this before I start it. Oh yeah, before I started, it is full. Okay. Now put this on. Put her up for 30 or so seconds. Let that sit for a second. I don't know if you guys can see that or not from fat fingers, but or whatever, but in between the two, right at top. So that is good for now. I will go for a test ride. Oh, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. It's between the two lines. Um, I doubt you can see it from this angle, but, uh, I tried to get a different angle a second ago. Um, anyways, uh, it's between the two lines, closer to the top line, so that's good. Um, I will take it out for a test ride in a minute and, uh, check everything after that. If I need to add some, I'll add some, but, uh, I don't think I'll have to. Anyways, that was the first oil change on my KLX 300 2025 model. Um, yeah, I'll, uh. Be back with the next one around 800 to 1,000 miles. You guys take it easy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Grand Squatch out. Later.